Hello, Pedro Reviews, and today we'll talk about my expectations versus the reality I experienced with the Toyota Race eCVT. It has been 3 months since we got our unit, and with almost daily use, I can share with you my experiences with this car so far. We will not discuss about its reliability because I want to experience it first for 2 years before I can tell you my insights on this matter. For today, let's take a look at tech and toys, handling, space, comfort, noise and vibrations, and fuel economy. Disclaimer, this is from my experiences and insights. First is tech or toys. My expectations was very minimal as it is the entry level of the CVT variant of the Toyota Race. Reality, its infotainment system is usable and practical as the Apple CarPlay is really important for us. Its backing sensor is a lot of help. The trip computer gives you enough information. I knew what I was getting for its price point, so expectations met. Next is handling. For 25 years, I've been driving a sedan and a compact hatch, and from time to time, I was borrowing a pickup and drove an SUV at work. I expected the race to handle curves closer to an SUV because it is a crossover and it is higher on the ground than what I was driving before. Also, I expected it to have more pinpoint steering handling than my old cars. Reality, the race handled curves like what you expect an entry crossover SUV does. It has a bit of body roll on sharp curves, and in terms of steering, it has lesser micro-adjustments needed versus my old car. Therefore, expectations met. Space Expectations The race looks small than a mid-sized SUV and just a tad bigger than a compact hatch. I expected it to be a bit short on space than what I was hoping for. Reality for my family, me, wifey, and the fur babies, and the usual trip luggage we bring, the race exceeded my expectations. The cabin is much more spacious than what the race looks like from the outside. Leg room, head room, and overall space is more than what I was expecting to get. Therefore, expectations exceeded. Comfort one of the main reasons we switched from a compact hatch to a crossover is comfort. Our old sedan and hatch were okay, but with the roads here in the Philippines, you really will feel the road imperfections. Expectations I expected the race to buffer us with the rougher roads within the city. And reality, the race handles well the imperfections of the city roads and could handle the roads of outskirts decently too. The seats give that extra cushion, the seats are very comfortable, it holds you in place and help absorb bumps of the roads. Verdict, expectations met. Noise and vibrations. Coming from a 3-cylinder engine of my old hatch, I knew what I was getting with the Toyota Race. Expectations. The same noise and vibrations any 3-cylinder engine car would produce, and for the road noise, I expected it to be quieter compared to my old hatch. Reality, my expectations were actually met. I just wished the insulation from the outside noise was better, but overall, I am satisfied. Fuel economy For a crossover, and for something bigger than my old hatch, I expected the Toyota Race to fail on this aspect. It is bigger than my old car, and from the outside, it looks heavy. Reality. Honestly, I was mind blown. To get 10 to 12 kilometers per liter in the city, 15 kilometers per liter on mixed drive, and 23 kilometers per liter on a long highway trip. And that's average. Therefore, expectations exceeded. And when we decided to get the Toyota Race ECVT, we actually had very grounded expectations, it being a budget or economy crossover. So when we finally get to experience driving the race, our expectations overall were met. Because of that, so far, we are really satisfied and happy with it. There you go, better reviews, drive safely, enjoy your journey. Thank you.